Hey, it's Wolf Wingler in the One Car Garage. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I set up my hot rod. Nothing fancy, just basic old school hot rod stuff. The car is a 1963 Pontiac Tempest that weighs 3,220 pounds, got a Richmond 5 speed and a 509 Chevy big block up front. Four link, eight and three quarter Chrysler rear in the back. So if you want to build a car, this is a good example. There's some bugs in the grill, there's some chips and a little bit of road rash here and there. This car gets driven, this is not a trailer queen. Okay, so I told you I was going to give you the setup, and here it is. This is a Gen 6 502 GM short block that's been bored 30 over. It's got SRP forged pistons in it with a 17cc dome. Combined with um, Brodix Race Right oval port heads with a 110 cc chamber, that gives me 1075 to one compression. That's using a regular Felpro uh, Marine Performance gasket. Uh, exhaust system is inch and seven eighth headers that dump into a two muffler on each side system. The first muffler is a Flowmaster one chamber muffler that's had one of the baffles cut out of it. And the second one is, um, I forget the name of it, it's a popular straight through muffler that I'm using is a um, resonator, three inch exhaust all the way back. Heads are Brodix Race Right oval ports, they match up with the uh, standard everything, standard 26 degree head, nothing fancy, no raised exhaust, no anything. Uh, on top of the heads is the Edelbrock RPM. Um, air gap intake manifold and a Barry Grant uh, 4150 carburetor. It's a 4779 stage 3, flows about 900 CFM. Got 83 thousandths jets in the back, 71 thousandths jets in the front with a 64 thousandths power valve channel restriction. Um, that helps you, that lean main jets and the power valve restriction gets you a nice lean cruise down the highway. Um, to make all of that stuff work, I'm running 36 degrees of advance all in by 2600 RPMs, although I also run vacuum advance so that I've got 30 degrees of um, advance at idle. That gives you a nice clean idle with the 93 octane gas. You need a lot more advance with today's gas because it lights off slower. Um, what else am I missing? Uh, cams or roller cam. Uh, I'm running BAM solid roller lifters and the cam is a crane cam. Uh, 672 on the intake, 636 on the exhaust, 250, 256 duration and I'm running at 2 degrees advanced. Car runs a vacuum pump on it just to keep everything clean and um, the ignition is uh, fast HEI with a crane E6 high 6 um, CD box with it. I think that's pretty much it. Um, Drivetrain wise, um, I run a 26 inch tall 275 50 series by 15 Nito drag radial and a Richmond 5 speed, which is Fifth gear is one to one, so first, second, third, and fourth is like um, the low gears. It's uh, like a 411, first, second, third, and fourth, or a 390. And um, fifth gear is one to one. I run a 294 to one ring and pinion in it, so that gives me the overdrive on the highway, and it still runs like it's got a 390 in the back, in first, second, third, and fourth. Um, got a big radiator and a flex fan, and it's all pretty much just basic old hot rod, easy stuff to fix with a screwdriver or a couple of standard size wrenches, 9 sixteenths and a half inch. 
Uh, there'll be more. You can copy all this stuff and maybe you'll crank out 600 horsepower like this thing does a little more. Maybe you won't follow along. I'll tell you how this setup um, and the jets and ignition and all of that came to be to work together. And maybe you can interpolate that and make it work for your car. I don't know. Worth a try. The procedure is you do the ignition first and then you do the carburetor. Um, you got to get your spark right before you start working with the gas. So let's talk about the distributor.